my channel so today's video we are going to be extending our kitchen cabinets to the ceiling um, as much as the project as we could possibly get done we're gonna try our best today's Saturday but we also have some plans to go up to our property and ride around and have some fun so we're also gonna be doing that um, and I will most likely bring you guys along Zoe you're just too funny look at this her's the best thing I've ever seen in my life <laughs> You're so cute. Huh. Hair's all, hair's all messed up, you know? I was like, this one got bad. You got me working. What is it like you think we should hang here? Mm -hmm. I want to do something cool, like something like... Advise me picking it out. What? I would advise me picking it out. <laughs> advise you picking it out? No, I would advise you to let me pick it out. Why? Because the first one you picked was uh, not the right one. Remember that? I can't stand that. Remember that? You were trying to get? It was just chandelier over the street. Listen, complain. I'll get you a little mini antique chandelier. That's beautiful. Chandelier under your street. It would be cool, though, to have like a little mini one. Here is a quick before of the kitchen. Um, so you can see um, we're taking these one by twos. Yeah, one by twos. They're really inexpensive. They're like a dollar and some change a piece. And we are going to basically build like a ladder that's going to go here and then attach the ceiling and the cabinets. And that's what we are going to nail the trim work that I have um, to, to just kind of make it look like a like a lot of crown molding basically, I guess is the best way to, to explain it. Um, but I think it's gonna look really, really pretty. But for dinner tonight, we're having some pork chops on the grill. We're gonna have some broccoli and probably like some, uh, or actually, you know what, let me see. Let's see what we got. Um, I always have a mess everywhere. I'm always working on projects. We have, I kinda want this one. This rice, I mean, great. This is what happens when you try to do things with one hand. I'm gonna do these. Seriously, nothing wants to listen. Before I get started, there's a few things I wanted to mention. Number one is that the only wood that I had to buy was the wood that we're using to frame out the top. All the trim work was given to me for free, so I'm super thankful for that. So this ended up being a very affordable project. This project was also inspired by Hannah from Hannah's Happy Home, and I'll have her video linked below where her husband extended their cabinets to the ceiling as well. That bigger line, that bigger line. Yeah. See those three bigger lines. You got eleven, and then that's eleven and a quarter, eleven and a half, eleven and three quarters, and twelve. Okay. So we're gonna go eleven and a three quarters. 
Oh, damn, you got it. Yeah. Good job. High five. Say that you don't smile. <laughs> smile again. I'll get another one. <laughs> You're so cute. So getting the frame part is really important. You want to make sure that it's level and that it's back far enough to where the trim will be flush against the cabinets. It definitely was a little bit more tedious than we expected, but we got it done. Mostly my husband got it done. Um, I was there for moral support and for cooking dinner. So <laughs> while he was working, I was making plates, feeding, helping hand things. I'm like the helper when it comes to these types of projects. I mean, I'm not a decorative person. What do you think? That's the only thing that matters. If you're happy with that, we can start now. I don't know. It's really hard to tell when it's not all white. I know, but I, I think once it's all white. It's going to look good? Yep. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, well, I need you up here. Okay. And well, the first nail gun, nail make sure we're loaded. Oh, with oh I'm too loaded. <laughs> You want all these? I want a whole sleeve of little ones though. Oh. These. Okay. Hold that. All right, baby. You, my dear. Check a banner. As soon as we went to go nail up the boards, we realized that one board was just a tad too long, so we quickly went outside and cut that, and now we are just placing all of our trim in place, and we're going to nail this in using this 18-gauge Craftsman nail gun. 
So something we forgot to do was mark where our little boards were, where we were going to be nailing the trim to. So we had to take one of the trim pieces off so he could mark with a little Expo marker where he needed to put in the nails. really nice. Once I paint it, I can't wait to get it like all the seams done. Thanks, babe. <laughs> I'm so excited! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. because this wall is like so messed up if I did like a light off the wall instead of from the ceiling just killed my hopes and dreams honey All right, so here is a quick look at how everything looks right this second. Everything needs to be cleaned and caulked, so that's what I'm going to start working on now. What's your story? What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers.
So this is hands down my favorite part of the project. I feel like this makes a huge difference in any home. If you have crown molding or trim and you have a big gap in between the wall and the trim, I highly recommend going around and filling it. It's a really inexpensive way to update your house and make it look so much nicer. And you can see what a difference this makes. What's your type? Somehow I want to know all about you. Deep connection, lights a spark. You already know me when we dance in the dark. We're dreamers. We're living. We're dreamers. We're doing this in our way. We come alive. Alright, so I know that this looks a little bit easier than it actually is, and I wanted to mention that I have shared a little bit more in-depth video before on my channel. It's been years, but um, it was a mobile home updates video, and I'll link it below if you want to see how to do this using baby wipes. It's, I feel like, the easiest way for beginners, so if it's something you are wanting to try to do, definitely watch that video first. So I wanted to talk to you guys about the paint that I'm using today. So I did start off by using this. Um, this is just some paint I had left over. It's the Sherwin-Williams um, Showcase brand stain blocking paint and primer in the color Ultra White. I use this on this whole pantry, all of the shiplap, the shiplap in the bathroom. I really love this paint. I think it works great. But I noticed that when I started painting the cabinets, or when I started painting the trim, that the cabinets and the trim do not match perfectly, and I want it to be as identical as possible. So, I bought this paint to use in my daughter's bedroom, and it just so happens to be the perfect white that matches my cabinetry. So this is the color I will be using. It is the Color Place Ultra Exterior Paint and Primer, and it is the color white. You buy this right off the shelf, and it's in a satin finish. Alright, so while the first coat of paint was drying, I ran to Lowe's and got some wood so I can frame out the window here. I think it's going to look so pretty. It's just going to kind of dress it up a bit. And something else I may have mentioned in the past, but I figured I'd mention it again. So the previous owner had new windows installed, and whenever he did, the guys messed up and accidentally put the bathroom window in here instead of in the bathroom. So they switched the, the windows on accident because they're the same size. So to dress up the window and make it not so like ugly because it's frosted, it's, just, it's not meant to be in the kitchen. This is meant to be in the bathroom. I bought this. Um, it is like a window cling, I think is what they call it. But I figured... It would just kind of dress it up a bit and it looks like they used it in their kitchen as well like in the photo you can see like there's like pasta and stuff in there 
<laughs> and their dishes. I'm gonna try it and just see how it looks. It's worth the shot. All right, so first thing I'm doing is taking the measurements and I'm going right where the countertop goes up on the wall, right from that to the top of the window. And on both sides, it was actually different. So it just shows you how off level my house is. <laughs> I feel like whoever did um, the, the remodel of this house, you could tell they were not a perfectionist <laughs> because the ceilings are off level, the walls are off level, the whole countertop is kind of leaning, but I have to work with what I got. So I'm just going to cut the wood to where it would make the window treatment level because I didn't want you to notice from the ceiling. So, and then here I'm just kind of piecing some wood together to create like a, a layered effect and, and make it have a little bit more character. And I was just trying to get an idea. So once I figured it out, I went ahead and nailed these two together and I'll nail them all up on the wall at one time. It was just a lot easier to do it this way. So here I have a one by three, a one by four, and then I have a one by two. So I'm just gonna try my best to get this as evenly spaced. Oh, I guess this one is the one that goes like that. Completely level with that one, yep, so that's right. Okay, so that's perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and nail this to this, and then whenever it's all stained, because I think I'm gonna do stained wood, all right, so y'all let me know in the comments below. Do you think that the wood around the window should stay the stained color that I ended up doing it, or should I paint it white? I am torn. I feel like it would look really good white, but I also really like the coziness that it brings with the warm wood tone. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. For today's video, I am going to have it stained, and that is because I knew it would be easier to paint over the stain than try to paint it white, then sand it back down and stain it, or to have to go out and try to find a gel stain that's in the same color as the countertop and barn door. So I decided to do the stained wood first and try it out, go ahead and put it all up on the wall and style it, and go from there. But like I said, please let me know in the comments below what you think. I wanted to mention that the stain that I'm using today is actually a color that I created. I just threw a bunch of different colors in that one stain container, started up, and this is the color I got. But a majority of the stain is Dark Walnut by Minwax. The reason I ended up mixing my own colors was because after I did my um, barn door, every all the wood that I stained didn't look the same, so I had to kind of customize the color a little bit. Um, but while that is drying, I'm going to go ahead and paint the top of the cabinets again. Now using that color place paint, the one that actually matches my counter or my cabinets. <laughs> So I am so happy that I purchased this window cling because this made a huge difference on this window. Um, there are directions on the box and I will do my best to link this, um, I'll try to find this exact one and link it for you. I did purchase this at Lowe's and it was around $23, but unfortunately it only did half of the window so I'll have to go get another um, box to do the top because I did end up having to cut it to piece it together. But it looks so much better and it was so easy to apply. It's not like applying contact paper because I can't do that stuff. But this was so easy. You just spray some water, you add it to the window and squeegee it and that is it. Okay, so it looks so pretty. It actually worked. I love it and you can't even tell that I had to piece it together I'm so proud 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and install the wood trim that I made, and I'm just gonna be measuring both sides to make sure that they are um, level and even, and then I'm just gonna put in a few nails. But here's a quick before of how the kitchen looked, and this is what it looks like now. Alright, so that's going to be it for today's video. I still have a few more things that I'd like to do. I would like to get some pendant lights and also do some backsplash. But so far, this is what we have and I love it. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!